Good morning, my friends. <laughs> this uh, Reddit tip, we're going to talk about detailing. Now, we all know that we're building the 3D model and we are building as much as we possibly can in 3D, right? And yet, you don't build every single object. You pick up some of those extra details in the sections or in the uh, refined details and um, pick up the details in the details. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm saying is if you placed every single brick in the Revit model, you would completely kill the model. You wouldn't be able to open it. It would be too big. So the walls are re represented as a plane, a thick, you know, three and five eighths inch thick plane that represents the brick. And it's the same with the sheets of plywood or the sheets of chipboard. You know, there's no such thing as a continuous chipboard that goes for miles. These things are four feet by eight feet long when they install them. And if we put individual ones in, we're gonna have seams all over. It's just, that's not how Revit works. Revit puts in the pieces and the parts in planes, and we have to kick up the level of detail when we need more information for the contractor. So <clears throat> maybe for attachment points, how we're going to bolt something to something else, how, we're, how two pieces of material come together, those are the details we're talking about. It's the details where we need to just talk. There is a process. There's a, a three-step process to detailing, and I'm going to go through those and show you, okay? All right, let's put my face over here <laughs> so we can get started. All right, let's just go to the plan, and <clears throat> here we are. I'm just looking at this little plan of our little building, and I'm going to cut. we've got a wall section cut over here, and I wanted to show you. Before we get into it, I wanted to show you what we've got right here. You see how this wall is? It's not showing every single brick. It's not showing the studs inside this wall. It's not showing anything inside there. And so what we do, th this is how we want it to represent itself in plan. But when we go to a section, we are presented with, typically just like this, you've got a a this thickness three and five eighths thickness of brick material and then we've got an airspace and some sheathing and there's our wood stud and chipboard but you have to detail it add detail items to kick this up to a level of information so the contractor can build it okay so we're going to get rid of some of these i'm going to show you how to place them but here i'm going to go through the three three read me three wait it, th Th three different, um, the three step approach. Okay. So let's get rid of some of these. La la la. I'm going to get rid of a, a few things just so that I can focus on, um, pulling this together for you. <laughs> okay. So this is a normal cut section right here. This thing is this, this is where, where it's presented to you as, okay. And, um, this, this extra little stuff I place, but I'm going to, I'll talk to you. We're, we'll get there. Here, in fact, I'll get rid of more. Gosh, okay. Can't get rid of too much because then I wouldn't have anything to show you. Okay, let me just get rid of a few of these things and then we'll get to it, okay? <laughs> All right. La, 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 look at me deleting the half of the detail work so that we can backtrack. And, okay, let me just get rid of that. Okay. <clears throat> when we, I'm going to, look at that, get rid of that too. Okay, so this is our wall. Bam, bam. You just th the wall is in here, and the three-step process. The first thing you do is use detail components. The second thing you do is going to be add filled regions, and the third and final is lines. You don't start off with lines, just drawing a bunch of lines, and you don't just start off with filled regions and then lines on top. You back up, so the first thing you do is detail components, okay? Then, okay, work with me, detail components, as many as you can, because they take care of um, objects in whole. And then, 
filled regions where you need to just fill, cover up something, and give it a material. And then lastly, lines. So let's just look at this. Okay. So let's just look right here in the where the second floor is hitting into this wall. Okay. Detail components. This is where <clears throat> underneath your in your families over here, you've got an area, you know, you got you've got all the different families, but there's one category called detail items. I'm gonna expand that and I want to show you a trick. I have numbered everything to the um uh, I think it's CSI format. So what it is, is you put things in the CSI format so that you can find them. So look here, anything that's masonry is number four. Hey, look at that. Okay, metals are five and you can skip on down. Six is um, woods and seven is for your um, um, like finished materials and um, rigid insulation, you know, thermal stuff. Anyway, what I'm talking about here is if you put these things in the right categories, you can find them quicker. So let's just say I need a, what is this? A two by 10 wood joist coming in here. So I need a two by 10 as the, the my little end board there. So I'll come down to sixes and here we go. La 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 la, wood siding, adjustable blocking, plywood, nominal cut lumber. If I expand that, hey, would you look at that? Two by 10, I'll just drag that over and snap it into place. Look at that. Got it. And then this is two by six wall. So I'm going to grab a two by six and I'm going to, with my space bar, I can spin this thing around. Okay. And place it right here. If I need a uh, board, it snaps right in place. That's my sill plate. And I can put another one in here for, oops, whoa, a double. I'm going to put a double header here. Okay. You can grab these things and drag them around. They snap into place quite easily. And I'm going to put another one right below it. Come on. There we go. So there is my double top plate. Okay. These are detail components. If I need some insulation, just put in some five and a half insulation. Just make this more believable. Look at that. There we go. And then we need to show this as brick. Oh, it's not wood. So we're going to go up to the threes. <laughs> I mean fours. Here we go. Brick adjustable. We don't want to put individual bricks in. So what I did was I made a um, a repeating detail. We can go into that in another um, in another uh, video on how to do those. But what I've got here is a repeating detail of eight inch mortar, and I'm just going to go. Zzz, okay, because you don't have to go all the way up the wall. You just it pops in three every eight inches. I think if you want to keep coursing correct, you might want to zoom in, okay? Zoom in and make sure that you've got a dry course right at the floor line right there, okay? <clears throat> so on the second floor, 10 foot, just make sure it lines up and you know this brick's in the right place. I'm just saying, this is how you do it. Those are detail components. Now I would go with filled regions and I don't need any filled regions in this area. Oh wait, here's some plywood on this floor. Plywood's under wood. Mm -hmm. Number six, plywood, plywood in section. And let's see, simple plywood, three quarter inch plywood. So I'm just gonna stick it right there, okay? There's my little wood and drag it. So there we go, representing plywood, ding. So anyway, let's come down here. Similar um, brick. And so after you have something in your project, what you can do is highlight it and hit CS on the keyboard, which is create similar. And then, so I'm gonna put a little bit of brick here and I need one of those. Um, I need one of these, create similar. I need a two by six, okay. Snap it right down there. And I'm gonna grab some more insulation and right there. Okay, now let's, let's just say, I've got enough uh, details going on here. Okay. This is a piece of perfect example of a filled region. I'm going to delete it for a sec. Okay. I didn't, I don't like the way the floor is coming in and hitting into this foundation wall. And I didn't feel like building in the model, a turndown slab. Okay. I was just being lazy. Okay. And so what you can do is go to filled in region and you say, okay, 
I need a filled in region and I need it to be, hey, would you look, my filled in regions use the same category system so I can find things, people. So here's concrete. And what I'm gonna do is in my lines, let's just go to lines. I've numbered my lines so that they correspond to the line weight of the lines that I'm drawing. Okay, so let's just put in, I'm gonna draw up and over and down. And there's my, I'm not gonna um, go too far into it. Now, if I did this as my concrete, look at that, it's what it's gonna do, it's gonna give us a couple lines I don't want. So I can highlight, I can edit the boundary of this, I can tell this vertical here to be invisible and this horizontal to be invisible, mm -hmm. okay, like that. Or actually, I want that one. I'll just put in, okay, done. Okay, so see how it, it ghosts away? Maybe this bottom one shouldn't be invisible. This bottom one should probably, um, oh no, I'll just bring it all the way down to here. Like that. Okay, whatever. I don't remember how that detail goes right now, so I'm just gonna skip it. And if I wanna bring in some, I'm gonna lift this up a tiny bit so it gets above the grout. Okay, the grout line that I've got in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So anyway, that's a filled region, okay, done. Now, lines. Line work, I'm gonna to go to detail line, and I'm gonna say two would be good. It's a good line. And I'm gonna do some through wall flashing in here. Just bring, okay, so I'm gonna bring in some flashing, and it goes up the wall over here, okay, and up about eight inches. I'm just gonna go eight inches, okay. And I can even give it a little, look at this, DL for detail line, and I can knock it so that it spills out, okay? So <clears throat> coming up, line work is last. Detail line, what I'm gonna do is come, I'm gonna do a little overlap action here, okay? And then run it on up the wall. So you don't have to, so <clears throat> line works last. So the first thing, wait, okay. So the line work is definitely last. So what we've got going on here the first thing we did was we bring in detail components, as many as we possibly can to get this going. I'm gonna put in a brick tie, adjustable brick tie, and maybe one that sticks in about this far. And I wanna put these every 15 inches, okay? So what I can put it right on the floor and then move it up, look at this. Move it up 16 inches. So I know where, which brick course it's supposed to go into, okay? Use my arrow keys to scooch it so that it's right in the middle, yeah. Okay, so anyway, look at, there's my brick tie that I'm tying back to my um, structure. And then I can copy that vertical 16 inches, okay? And you can just keep copying it up. Anyway, what I'm showing here is you use detail components repeating detail components also. Then you add in your filled regions as needed. And lastly, last resort in your details is your line work, okay? If you wanna represent a sweep, I mean a, a weep hole here, you could go, um, there's a detail line, DL, that's what I usually use. And I've got one, look at this, a dash two, and I can just go from Say right here to there, and right here to there. That represents the weep hole that is, hey, 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 let my people go. There we go. That represents the weep hole coming out of that area. So I hope this helps you guys. Some people, honestly, they jump right in and they begin putting in um, lines all over in their details and on their elevations, and they start masking and things. and. What you want to do first is be very systematic. Use as many detail components as possible first. When you exhaust those detail components, then come in with some filled regions and masking regions to cover up some things that you might want to cover up. And then lastly, you, you know, if if line work is just showing up wrong and you don't want it, you don't have to model everything so perfectly. Get it to the best of your ability and then 
mask it. <laughs> I knew. Some people are going to go, what? But that's how you do it sometimes, people.